The following is a special HGTV On Location presentation. Hi everybody, I'm Will Schreiner and I'm here in Viva Las Vegas for the Consumer Electronics Show 96. This is our second annual look at all the cool stuff in video, camcorders, high-end audio, mobile electronics, gadgets, everything you want and need is right inside. But it's not open to the public, but we're going to take you inside and give you a sneak preview. So, roll the music. You know, word has it that you, the consumer, will spend up to $65 billion this year on consumer electronics, and that doesn't even include the batteries. Well, join me as 80,000 visitors and I go through the Consumer Electronics Show and look at what's new for the car, for the home, for the office. We'll even show you some really cool new futuristic stuff that's just around the corner. So come on inside as we check out CES 96. Look, it's eye control. We've heard about eye control. It's been available in the 35 millimeter still camera, but now Canon introduces the first eye control for your camcorder. With us is Mike Zorich. Mike, what is eye control? Well, Will, eye control is the most revolutionary feature to come along in camcorders in years. And simply what it does is it allows video makers to have a much easier process to operate a camcorder. And uh, traditionally, camcorders can be kind of intimidating to users because they usually have to familiarize themselves with all of the tiny little external control buttons. Well, Canon has simplified that process. By using eye control, the camera will respond to the movement of your eye and will allow you to activate a variety of features, including the autofocus, 11 different digital special effects. You can apply the date. You can apply, uh, apply a title. You can um, do things like fade. You can even start and stop recording, all without ever having to take the camcorder away from your eye to do that. Your eye so, tells it all. You have a good example here of how it works. Why don't you right, back we up sure do. It? Technically, the way eye control works, Will, is illustrated here in this graphic. And inside the viewfinder of the camcorder, there is a, what we call an eye control mechanism. And what that mechanism does is it emits an infrared beam of light to the video maker's eye. And that beam of light then bounces back to a sensor inside the viewfinder that allows the camera to know which area of the viewfinder screen you're looking at. The camera will then adjust the autofocus system for that subject that you're looking at. And uh, then in addition, we'll allow you to apply all of 11 different digital effects or the title, the date, fade, start and stop recording. And essentially what that does is it reduces clumsy camcorder handling. You never have to hit take the camcorder away from your eye. It gives you a little, a little sort of a free hand to think with. Absolutely. Right. Well, we got one here. Let's take a look at, why don't you show me how to calibrate it and okay. uh, kind of take a... Well, what you've got to do is to calibrate the camera specifically right. for your eye, and right. that takes about 15 seconds. You're going to look at the right side of the viewfinder okay. screen and press the red button. All right. And this is so that the camera can understand the individual characteristics about your eye. Uh -huh. Now you look at the left side of the screen and press the red button again. All right. Okay. And now you've completed the calibration process. Now we can take the camera out of the calibration mode right. and go into automatic. Okay. And now what will happen is, as you see the white screen on right. the inside the viewfinder, it's going to move. That's my eye looking around. You see my eye looking around there. Right. It moves according with the movement of your eye. Right. Any subject matter that's covered by that white focus frame is the subject that the camera is going to autofocus on. Okay. Now we can guarantee that the subject that you want to be in focus is the subject that the camera will bring into focus. Right. Okay, there we are in the little hanging elephant here, right? Right. Now if I were to move my eye over to the bear... Right. It'll oh. bring the bear into focus. And back to the elephant. Oh, look at that. Well, this eye control really gives me a lot of control over the camera without having my fingers so busy. What is the ES5000 going to sell for? You can expect the ES5000 to sell for $18.99, Will. Eye control. What's next? Mouth control? Mouth control would be great. These incredible video images we're looking at on the screen here were shot just a couple of days ago with this exciting new camera quarter, the Digital Handycam. This really brings broadcast quality production to the consumer. To tell us more about it is Dan Nicholson from Sony. D Dan, tell us, everyone's excited about this. It's some great stuff. Well, the reception's been very, uh, uh, has taken us all a little bit by surprise. Uh, I think the consumer market has been waiting for something like this. This is the final step to bring the ultimate in uh, digital recording right to the consumer. And the reception's been uh, phenomenal. We're really 
really excited about it. When you talk about the advantages of digital recording, to, for the average layperson, what, what do they gain here in digital domain? Well, the first thing they're gaining is full digital recording. And what that affords you is no resolution loss at any time. So you can make generation after generation copy and notice no loss in the video. In addition to that, you get the advantage of this DV interface. Now, Sony Candy Cams are the only one to have this revolutionary IEEE 1394 interface. I what? thought that was the IEEE 94 there yeah, in your hand. exactly what it is. But this really allows you to, do, to take this digital imagery into other formats, uh, such as the computer, right? Exactly. It's the final bridge between the Handycam and the computer. This interface allows you to digitally download your images right onto the hard drive with no conversion to analog. And once you get it into the hard drive, you can do things like web page creation, web, web page creation and uh, uh, desktop publishing, non-linear editing, like we're doing over here on my left side. We're using a uh, standardized uh, Adobe Premiere uh, non-linear editing system. And what we've done is we have the camcorder here, which is playing back the image. And I'll just push play here. Oops, we got it there. All right, and we'll roll some images. And what we're able to do using this IEEE interface is to digitally download the video right onto the hard drive. Once we have it on the hard drive, we're able to capture that image. And I can just strike the button here. And once I've captured that image, I can name that image, give it a name, bring it over here over to my construction window. Once it's in there, and I'll just close this down. Once it's in here, I can pick any scene I want and literally arrange it in any order I want. So I can grab this top scene of the two tigers, bring it right up here to my construction window, let it go, and it's now become part of my ultimate edit. And I can play this back right from the hard drive. So, so nonlinear in a sense for the consumer. This is an exciting. New, this has been around in the prod, broadcast side for a long time, but now the consumer can really manipulate and put together his own home movies with no generation loss. Put them together any way they want. Play them back. Rearrange them. Do anything they want. Exactly, and so, still maintain the excellent quality you see here on the monitor. You know, we've seen VCR changes a lot. Uh, two head, three head, high five, VCR plus built right in. Now Sharp introduces the dual record VCR. Chris Cadena is going to tell us more about it. Chris, this is great. You can now tape Letterman and Leno at the same time, right? Absolutely. This is dual record VCR from Sharp Electronics. Now what I can do, because Sharp has recorded head uh, patented technology in the recording head uh, area, we now can take two programs on at the same time and record them for up to two hours on one VCR tape. So we're looking at, uh, say, program A and program B right That's here. Right. So now you can take those two, and I can even watch a third using my television tuner like a sporting event. Uh, I can now monitor what I'm actually recording and uh, choose to go back and forth uh, between those two. So you can bring it full screen. Right, I can have PIP. I can swap those. I can actually move my PIP around. And I go back to my dual uh, window again. And it has another neat feature is that you can take the tape out of here and play it on a normal VCR? That's right. So once you finish that recording, now someone can take it up to any VCR on the home. Uh, and then by simply adjusting the tracking, they can either choose the A program and manually track back to the B program. Okay, Chris, so you have two programs on the, on the tape. How does, it, uh, how does it use this technology? How does it work? Well, Sharp uh, has a lot of patents, especially in the recording head technology. What we've done is we've taken that head now, and we've actually split it. One of the heads uh, has 26 microns, and that takes the, the tape and records it in hi-fi stereo, while the, bottom, while the bottom part of the recording head is 19 micron, and that lays down the second program in linear. And what that means to the average consumer is you get one program in hi-fi, the other program in linear, but it's all on one VCR head. It's as opposed to having two heads uh, or two decks. Okay, so now if you're faced with that tough decision, do I want to watch Letterman, Leno, or Koppel, now you can watch Letterman, Tape Koppel, and Leno. All right, Chris, thanks a lot. Thank you, Will. Very confusing, but it's a lot of television to watch. Here's something cool from Magnavox. It's the Instant Replay TV. The television has an eight-second recording buffer that is constantly updating. This allows you to play back your own Instant Replay. If you're watching sports, you don't have to rely on the sports director for the replay of that big touchdown. With a push of the button, you control the replay. Hey, stick around. When we come back, I'm going to show you what's new in personal electronics or gadgets for you lay people right after these messages. Personal electronics. Some are getting bigger, some are getting smaller. Let's take a look, shall we?